generator of course is back up on top and ready for final uh the box that's going on it fenders are on temporarily we have these star wheels on decks being bolted down already been painted on one side and the, and the two sides of the wood ready for paint on the top so not too bad process is going pretty good still got to finish the gate to the back and it will be a finished project partial completion here uh, the deck still has to be painted and it's got the original 944 Dexter Fay uh, Fayette Dayton tires and wheels on it or wheels and this will be changed out real soon we're getting this changed out to the five lug which is uh, going to be these Lincoln rims these are 16 inch and anymore nowadays it's easier to find 16 inch tires than it is 15s so that's why we're changing it out there'll be a video coming up real soon showing why uh, you have to be very careful how you adjust for the offset of these wheels so that you have plenty of clearance between your frame and your and your uh, um, your fenders and all that the fenders are installed most of the wood is bolted down however I ran out of bolts before I brought it out here and it still needs the top coat paint put on it, so. There's a sheet metal doghouse being made that's gonna go up here. This trailer I declared is going to be the M01, named after this crazy girl that's been with me for nearly 10 years. And uh, everything is final and clean. The, uh, the tires have uh, four and a half inches of clearance between the fenders and the tires, but it's a nice, clean, close, low profile fit. Uh, the, uh, the bump stops will be put in to where we only have three and a quarter inches to where we bottom out, but this, these are heavy 4,200 springs on 3,500 axles with a 5K tube, typical RV crap. The gate will be soon put in and the gate's gonna be made to look just like that up on the front. So the gate will be made and over here on the side of the trailer will be a mount for the gate to drop down into, which will just be uh, more unistrut because that's what's on the tail there. So using the same five gauge welded metal right here, we will be putting a gate on it the generator is set up perfectly so that you could reach in and start the generator up. The gas can will sit right out here. There's a little uh, brackets that'll be put in for the gas can to drop down into for carrying extra fuel with me. And using, using Canadian uh, uh, hockey pucks, official ones too at that, we're having uh, the mounts for that and U bolts to bolt it down and four of them and I'll spot weld put a little tiny spot weld on these keep the generator a little harder to steal but there it is not too bad total investments about 520 bucks if you add the generator in another sixty dollars about 580 doghouse to go on it about another $40 in materials for everything to finish this thing out entirely. And that five, that uh, under, basically under $600 includes the change out to five lug hubs, 3,500 for this, to put these on, these nice Lincoln rims. You'll see that in the very final video, along with the gate across the back, and how this whole thing was built, and a parts list of everything I used will be at the bottom in my description. Metal ring that'll fit in here at the end of the wood after the wood's been heavily uh, doped up with paint, and um, that'll have on it clips that'll help for ramps that'll come down, so it'll have uh, the ramps, and the ramps will fit underneath already has the holders for the ramps to go in and Emma is taking claim of her trailer she gets to inspect her trailer now and we built it for this girl right here been with me for 10 years almost all right guys it's gonna be called the Emma one
Kind of special, huh?